quick demonstration to solder your motors in a nice clean way. Make sure you get some rosin and put it on the contacts of the motor. Then take your power wire, 18 gauge, and go ahead and strip at least 10 millimeters of insulation off the wire and then separate these two, negative and positive. Then gently twist the first lead and you want to make sure that red wire goes to the positive terminal on your motor. You can pass through the wire through your terminal in the hole and then crimp it, uh, bend it back, try to compress it as much as possible so you don't have a big ball. Oops, this is the part where most people forget to put heat shrink on. So don't forget to put heat shrink on before you do any soldering. So rewind, put your heat shrink on your insulation. You need to peel this back just a little bit more so that your heat shrink isn't right next to your solder joint. Otherwise the heat shrink will compress just from the, the heat of your solder joint and come back to your terminal make sure positive is positive make sure you don't have frayed uh, wire ends that are missing uh, missing the hole and then bend that over if you bend it right in the middle of your exposed conductor then you won't have uh, conductor overlapping your insulation and causing a, a, a large bundled area that that won't fit the heat shrink. Now positive is red and I'm going to reapply uh, the flux on the actual wire itself. Gives you the best odds that the solder will flow in quickly and you won't have to be melting your insulation. So this iron is already heated. We're going to grab a piece, apply your iron to the joint, heat up the joint a little bit. Iron's not as hot as I would like it. Now it's starting to flow. It would really help to have the helping hands right now so you can hold your motor steady. Then just flow plenty of solder in there and let the solder saturate into the wire. As soon as the solder's flowed through all the strands, then release and let it cool. Don't slide the heat shrink down until the cooling uh, is fairly cool, otherwise it's going to shrink up while you're passing it over the solder. And go ahead and slide it over. You might want to keep it um, close with your finger. Get your heat gun. You do top side, bottom side, then you can evenly shrink the shrink wrap. In the end, you should have a joint that's not exposing your solder.